Let's talk about battery storage. Hi, I wanted to update you on one of the projects I'm working on that you may be interested in. These batteries I bought at Battery Hookup. They had a sale on for three days. They were $200 for four of them. They're 55 amps. They're 60 millimeters by 280 millimeters and they are lithium iron phosphate batteries. I wanted to uh, go to, uh, even though I have plenty, I'm thousands of uh, 18650 cells, but I wanted to try this because I figured it would be safer. I'm going to run it in the garage where my, my electric car is parked. So I wanted lithium iron phosphate just for the safety reasons. The weight, these are much heavier uh, for what I'm going to be doing than uh, lithium ion batteries, but I'm concerned about safety and since I've already had a lithium iron uh, lithium ion fire already, safety is quite important to me. Uh, just to give you construction, this is uh, this little mats, cutting mats I picked up at Menards and these are going to go between each of the cells. You can see that they're wide enough so I cut it and I can put two the two halves in here. These are overkill. These bus bars I've made from scraps that I've had. Uh, they're a quarter inch thick, way thicker than you need. But I wanted to point out one thing about these type of batteries. They're 55 amps. That's a nominal uh, 3.2. They have on the negative side, they have steel bolts and the nuts match. But on the positive side, which is down here, they're aluminum. They have this little dot on it. And so I wanted to make sure that I put the nuts on the aluminum side and the steel nuts on the steel on the negative side. Now this bus bar that I get, I made these out of scrap alum, uh, aluminum that I had. This is eighth inch thick, more than enough to generate the power that I am going to use. And I'm going to be using, let's see if I got a picture of it here, I can show you. Um, you know, uh, really, but they look like this. They're a Sun 2000 watt and they're 240 volt. So there'll be two legs, leg one, leg two, and neutral uh, that I'll be using. And in the process, in the main screens here, you can actually adjust how much wattage you want coming out. And this will be a 48 volt system. So this is pack number three, number four, and that's how many I've got done so far. So I have 12 to go. And they're going to be connected by these little things that I've made here, this aluminum, not aluminum, copper, of, again, copper scraps that I have, measured the distance between it, and uh, just going to bolt two on each side for this particular series connection. I'm excited about using it. Uh, I'm going to be, there's already one taped on number two, so on the bottom it's, there's one taped of these. I just wanted to show you that's what I'm using to separate each of the cells. Then wrap some captain tape around it. This actually helps hold it in position, and on the other side, captain tape. So I'm excited about this uh, off, well it's not off grid, but kind of, uh, well it is grid tied. This inverter will only work if it's grid tied. So, but I want to generate power at night when the solar goes down. So I'm going to charge these batteries, these 48 volt, that'll be 200 and, uh, let's see, well, 250 amp. Oh, times four, yeah, let's see. Yeah, 220 amp, actually. 220 amp at 48 volts. And I'm only going to bring them down to, you know, maybe 500 watts. I'll set the inver this inverter at 500 watts and uh, have it run all night just to supplement my power so I can use very very little off uh, I mean grid power and that's my goal I want to try to be somewhat totally off grid by being on grid and I haven't had a power bill for uh, since March so I'm excited about this uh, and I'll uh, show you when I get the system set up and how it functions but I'll talk to you later but thank you for watching